Welcome back to the Rig Review, and today we're going to take a look at the Arlo Rig, which you can find on the Built by Colossus website here. This is $15, full disclosure, I received this for free for review purposes. So this is, in a sense, a sponsored post, but you can check it out to get all the information about what the body has, the face, the poly count, and the price. Again, it's $15, and I will post the link to the review. And as always, everything will be on the Animation Buffet website, where I post all kinds of rigs and reviews. If you have anything you want me to review, send them my way. That is the link here. I will put that in the description, of course. Let's get back to the rig. Here's the rig in all of its glory. And if you download this and there are no textures, as always, you have to reassign them or do a file path. You can do Windows, General Editors, and you have the File Path Editor or do it manually, but you can't select the geometry. You have to go up here and up here it gives you control visibility. You can have that on off face geometry. And this is the lock geo. So let's put this to zero and you can select the geometry. But that is the rig. And as always, I don't know why. Let's start at the bottom, mostly because here are the main controllers. Main controller here gives you just that. You can scale the character all the way down and back. You can also rotate the character so if you need to do anything here that is what you get but don't forget the pivot is from the bottom so that's why i like actually these setups when you have a second controller here again only translates and rotates but what you can do with a second controller you can bring it down and then select where your pivot is going to be so she has wings if you want her to fly i will bring this down select this and now you have that here you have what we call a flight controller a flight con Totally up to you, of course. Then you got these guys, which are the same thing as the outer ring, right? So this one and this one, same thing. There's no difference. Here you have your main control. You can move the foot around. You can see here as you bring your foot back, foot stays put, you got to do this. And as you rotate the foot, the knee comes with it. You have the upper length. You got the lower length. Let's go back here. And then you got foot banking, which is always good. Foot roll like that and then you got a toe pivot like this and a heel pivot now if you want to go down to this here you have this controller here that gives you rotation like that to the side and you can also translate like this that's for your extra controller sub controller you have this controller here that's your ikfk switch so you take this you switch this back to zero and now you have all the controllers up here and now you have controllers there, the round controllers to move the legs back like a typical FK. These guys are your bend bows and moving these rounds. Even in FK mode, you have that as an option, which is cool. Going back to it, you got your stretchy on or off, meaning that if you do a IK leg like this and you want to change the stretchiness, you go back here, stretchiness is zero. And then you also have to go back here, bend these on or off and preserve volume, I missed it. Let's go back, preserve volume on and off here as well. That is that. You go a bit closer, you have controllers here. So this is for your mid and more mid bending here. And you also, you can pull this out, but you can't scale. This is not to reshape your character or whatever limbs you have. Again, a pivot here, if you wanna do this via controller. And then you have this one here that kind of does everything as well, which is kind of cool with extra settings in the channels. That is, of course, on both sides. Why? Because we have two legs <laughs> and you have bamboos, like I said, here, all the way up to the hips. Now, you got a lower controller here. This is the hip controller, so you can move this around. You can scale, but it does nothing, but you can translate. Whoa, wrong axis. There you go. You can translate this like that. And above the hip control, you have this one. This is the root FK control, as it says here. Move things around like that and like that. If you move this all the way down here and you click on the other root control, this is the root A control, it will pivot, whoa, it will pivot off of here, which is also neat just in case you have to have different pivot points. I'm always a fan of this. Then you got the extra controller here. This is the IKFK switch, right? So this is the controller here. And now that you have that, you can see here full IK, oh, but I can still move this around like this. And you can see the spine. You have these controllers here. And again, you can still rotate around, but it gives you a bit more flexibility for some quick posing like that, as opposed to going back here and making this all FK. There's a bit of a switch through. It's probably my fault. Let me double check. Yes. Let's zero that stuff out. There you go. So here are your spine controls. You can select these and then you got your rotations like that. If I'm breaking the rig in FK fashion. Now let's go up here. 
you have selecting this controller here that's your shoulder a clavicle right then you got this is your arm let's go back out here this will move your arm like that you got your bembos like this sometimes a bit overlap you can go in here you can see this is your benbo and then this is your fk controller and all axes nothing is locked now if you want to switch this to ik you can select this one and you have your ik fk switch you can see how this everything is switching here moving your arm around and then this is your elbow control it also has an elbow pin which is great i love it you got your space switchers as well and then going back here you have your ik FK switch you have a stretchy the bendy on off Preserve volume, auto twist, and finger stuff too. You can do some quick changes into IK fingers. That's great. And space switching for chest and world. Going closer here, even though that's now in your current IK stage, you have that one to change your rotations. But in typical IK fashion, you move the arm. The wrist stays put like this. It's not aligned with the forearm. That's always a bummer. I wish all rigs had that. You can go up here and you got your movement here so you rotate this you do some quick formation of the fingers which is pretty neat and then you can go back in here and just select your fingers joint by joint all the way up here for some extra curvatures you got to rotate and make a fist you got some changes here that's all super cool going closer here what do we have that is your neck so your neck control is like this but you can always transit this around and you can scale it that way. There's one in the middle, so you can reshape it like this, scale a little bit, but also rotate. And then the big one here, that's your head control. That's just for the upper part. You got, again, space switching, move this around, and you can't scale the head. Always kind of checking if you can scale those controls to reshape the face, the body, or whatever you have, but not in this case. Sticking with the head, why not? Let's go up here just quickly. This is your jaw inverse. So if you do this, rah, rah, if you do this, you'll be breaking the geometry, but that's also me pushing that. Now, if you select this here, you can't translate. This is purely rotation for that. So you can see, rotate it this way, up this way. Let's see how that rotation goes and it starts to break the, the mouth shape. But again, this is for an extreme rotation there. Going back, you can see these are your hair controls. I'm selecting all of them, but you can move these around. You can translate them around and ooh, you can scale them around too. So you can potentially change the hair shape as well. Let's stick up here. Why not? We have three controls for the ear and one here one here and one here and can you scale yes you can ginormous ears confirmed then the eyes you can move them around like this there's some nice um skin formation there on the eye orbit here that's pretty cool you got your space switches of course then you have separate eyes like that then you have this one here that's the upper swoosh so if you do this it will do warring, warring, warring like that. And then you have one at the bottom when you eat, which is pretty cool. Let's quickly check something out. That is the jaw control. I'm opening this out here. Take that. It's the overall shape. That's pretty cool. I like it. Now, select this here. That's just to move things around. That doesn't do anything. You have selection, like I said, here for the jaw. If you don't want to move this around like that, you have it here. These are for your lips. You can move the general shape around. That's pretty cool. You also have, let me just open the jaw here. Actually, I should just do it like this since we have it here. You can translate, right? Versus this one has rotate. So let's be careful about that. But if I move this up and then select this, you have the zip roll like such. You have a zipper like this. And of course, it's on both sides. Then we get to the nose. You can move the tip around like so. There's a nose curl going this way. Nose curl, okay. Doesn't seem to be doing anything for me. Let me get back to that. I might have missed something. Let's go here. That's just the inner part. So the selection here does everything like that. You can rotate this around, of course. But if I go back just again, I see nothing in the nose curl. So that's probably in a update you can tweak that can you rotate the lips like this whoa you can do something like that interesting only one axis yeah what's that ah uh, double eyes right so you're gonna quickly move your eyes like that that's pretty cool i'm assuming if you do this separately there you go you just have that translate the whole thing around you have 
quick blink options and the blink bias is where this goes so top to bottom so if you don't want to go just centered in your blink that's of course on both sides on this side here you have upper and lower lit that's pretty cool too for details if you don't want to do it like that and if you do select it and just go back in there why not you can see here these are all your detail control as well the corners and reshaping and also in the cheek here it's the bigger controller so you do your cheek puff like that separate control is here so lots of cool details here and actually let me just continue here you got your eyebrows and so you got your full shape select it like that and then you select the separate ones if you want to do anything like this but you can still select this and move the whole thing around so lots of options with that that is for the face then you go back here you have the overall controller for the mouth shape here it's nice how it still affects the rest if you actually go into wireframe on shaded you can see how much it still influences which is pretty cool can you scale yes you can just in case you want to change something that's always cool i like me fumbling around controls i like being able to change uh, the scale you can also rotate if you want there's an upper one here so that's the teeth upper so if i am opening the mouth you will see what you have here so you can move this around you can also scale same thing with the bottom one select this you can move this around the pivot is up there though so if you rotate anything it's like that that's pretty neat you always need this and then you got your tongue controls you can rotate trends that you can't scale and go in here there's an extra control sometimes at the base or the tip there's some extra controls but not right now let me see no and again go into uh you know the wireframe mode you can see all the extra controllers and again you have that to shape out anything oh so painful to watch me to do this here and then you got the inner ones and these are the upper lip right so you can all the way back all the way back all the way back all the way back and let me close this you have these guys here that's the middle controller this one move this around can't rotate translate uh scale this is purely to move this around take this one and do that and then you get this that is that we talked about the eyes don't forget you got wings so you can select these among you know there are more out there but you can select them and you can move them around can you scale you can you can change the wings but you also have this so this is your flap if i select this and go you can see slowly what it does which is pretty cool make this fast like this you have also the, the wing visibility is here and then going back here the multiplier as well lots of options super cute it could be interesting to have a built-in controller for the pivot here as in if you don't want to do this and now you have to do that to move this around so she can fly around the correct pivot it would be kind of neat to have an actual extra controller like this one already up here i don't know figure that out there since she is a you know flying creature in a way some more controllers or something to add for a flight path or anything hey, that could be kind of neat let me try something here All right, just a quick pose. No, <laughs> she seems a bit nervous about what she's doing. I don't know, I was just randomly pulling things. I wasn't super thinking about the pose here. But something I noticed here, as you move the clavicle shoulder area, it does move in IK mode your uh, pull back to here for the elbow around. I'm not sure if I expected that or if that could be locked. I mean, you can go here and say elbow pin. I'm gonna do world and take local off here so it's down here and then you move your well you move your shoulder around and then you have that locked so just be mindful of that something else that i feel like would be neat i mean you would have it in the picker but it would be neat to have that in general so you have all of these hair controllers and it would be neat to just have an extra controller here at the end where you can select that and it selects them all so anything where you have a long series of things same thing with the wings just at the tip another control that selects them all so you can do a a quick rotation of everything basically kind of like an idea of this does everything here for your fingers just quickly 
you kind of need to do or at least like a selection thing in case you don't have a picker. Sometimes you don't have time to do a picker or uh, you're you know busy doing something else, like whatever, like anything that helps um, do things or select things in a bit of a, a faster way, I think would be kind of neat. But it's very easy to control. It seems fairly fast for me to move things around. Again, once you're completely done with a pose, move this away from the origin and then rotate this around and then look again at your rig. Sometimes you get some information problems or anything, but this seems to be pretty cool. Again, not that it's like the best uh, pose out there, but I just want to quickly do something. This is so me, kind of like a caveat. Yeah, I can't pose. This is my excuse for it, but it's cute. She's really cute. I'm a big fan of this rig and the, the speed of it. I will at one point animate with it and see how this works in real time as you move things around. I think that's kind of that though. Uh, there's nothing else that really stood out in terms of a problem. I just felt like the quick selection would be kind of neat. Looking at the eyes, just double checking because I probably missed something. There's nothing here. Let me just double check the inside here. There you go. There's a scale option. I didn't cover that in the initial uh, run through. And there was on the wrist, I also saw this that I skipped here. You have a wrist roll which is also neat if you put your fingers on the ground. So imagine you have your IK fingers and you want to kind of, you know, roll off the fingers. That's pretty cool. And of course, you know, I also didn't cover this. You have the upper and lower length, but you know, most controllers or most rigs have that. Sorry if I skipped over this, but that's pretty much it. Really very cute. Lots of options for the formations. And I love this. This is already great to have stuff like that in here that takes away all kinds of tedious frame by frame and copy paste of curves to do that if you don't use any tools for this and that's it i like it so go check it out link in the description of course with all the information thank you again for build by colossus for providing me with this rig hopefully this overview is helpful to anybody out there who is uh, thinking about purchasing it and that is that as always these reviews are on the longer side thank you for watching this in full i appreciate your patience like and subscribe you know the pitch Thank you for subscribing. It helps to grow my channel. I do like this here. Rawr, 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 rawr. Probably not the best way to end by breaking a rig, but it's super cute. Definitely very, very fast. And it's all the deformations there. I do like all of this here. Look at that. Let's continue on. Once you start, it can just never stop. I like it. Take the nose overall rotation give it a bend in the face actually here's something else that would be kind of neat sometimes the uh, characters have i mean you do have your your bottom squishiness right so you can take this and move this around like that but sometimes people prefer an extra controller here so you have a controller here and here so hold on let me just do this here so there's a separation here and here so you grab this controller you get the line of action in the face you can move this thing around if you don't want it to be only go back here on something like this here so maybe that's something i would add extra controls where this whatever you can do here potentially here as well if it doesn't slow down the rig for me speed is always the key uh element here so let's not uh compromise the, the speed and if you animate this watch out your wings might intersect with the hair that's gonna be interesting so i'm curious what people will do with this rig but that is that it's a rambling i will say thank you and i'll see you in my next upload